Hi, welcome! In this video, I am going to light this scene using different methods and introduce some techniques. I've created this Rhino in ZBrush earlier, and I've also created textures and shaders. Now I just want to add lights to the scene. I want to change the timeline to the shader view. I need to go to the world shader. And I want to introduce the first lighting method. Press Shift and A and then Texture and select Environment Texture. Using this node, I can add an HDRI texture to the scene. HDRI can light the scene based on a texture created from the real world. Press the open button to add a texture to the scene. I downloaded these HDRs from HDR Haven website. They are completely free to use. Now that I have a texture in the scene, I'll connect the color pin to the texture node to the color of the background node. Press Z to go to the random mode. Good. The render engine I'm using is Cycles and obviously in GPU mode. Press 0 to switch to the camera view. As you can see, the light of the HDR is emitted onto the object. I can change the coordinates of the HDR. Go to Edit and Preferences and make sure Node Wrangler is active. Press the HDR and press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate node. Now I can move rooted and scale the texture. If I want to rotate the HDR around, I need to change the Z value. As you can see, I have a different light direction. Let's go back to zero. That was better. Press Ctrl space to switch to full screen mode. This is my final render. The second type of lights are physically based lights. Press Shift A and select light. You can see four types of lights. These lights are heavier but you can place them anywhere you want. In this scene I need an area light. This is a very popular light for lighting both small and large scenes. Press Shift space and select move to moving the light. Press S to scale it up. This line represents the light direction. I need to place the light where I achieve the best result. I need to balance the light direction and shadow. And I need to cast the shadow in a way that I can see the skin details very clearly. One of the best positions is at the top of the object right here. And here almost on the left side. Don't put it where the camera is looking because the shadows will go to the back. First I'm going to try the top position. Here is good. Let's activate the render view by pressing the Z key. Make sure the strength of the HDRI is set to zero. I just want to see the effect of the area light. The power of the light is too low. Go to the light settings and increase power. You can see other attributes such as color, shape and size. Change the power to 1000. Now it's better. You can select an appropriate color based on the atmosphere. For example, red light is very useful for scary scenes. Let's change the light shape. Shape can change the effect of the light and its range. Square is better for me. You can also change the size of the light here. 
As the size increases, the power decreases, as you can observe. If I reduce the size to 0.5, I'll achieve greater brightness. I think 1.5 is sufficient. And I need to increase the power. I want to try placing the light on the left side of the object. Press Shift D to duplicate it and move it to the left side. Alright, turn off the top light. Good, I can see more shadows. It's good, but I think the top lighting is better. Make sure the lights you don't want are disabled at viewport in render time. There is another technique called rim light. I need a powerful light for the left side. Exactly opposite of the camera view, press Shift D to duplicate the light. Reduce the size of the light. Let's go back to the camera view. As I mentioned, I need a powerful light to create a highlighted effect around the object. Let's change it to 30,000. Alright, let's increase it further. It does indeed create a beautiful effect. Let's try the third lighting technique. The HDR value is currently set to 0. Change it to 0 0.2, for example. As you can see, I've reduced the darkness in the very dark areas. And you can see some indirect light in these areas. But this area is still too dark. I can add another light behind the object. Duplicate one of the lights. Change the size to 1. Put it exactly behind the object. It's much better. Let's increase the power. Good. I can even increase it farther. And I think 0.3 is better for the HDRI. Now I have more indirect lights in these areas. I explained about three types of lighting methods. You can use these methods in combination with your creativity. Always pay attention to the atmosphere you want to create. For example, I want a jungle atmosphere for this scene. Always ensure you have references and pay attention to the various environments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.